everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to make homemade dinner rolls. What I have here is some warm milk. I have a cup and a half of warm milk. It's between 100 and 110 degrees. And to that I'm going to add four teaspoons of active dry yeast. And if you don't have like the jar where you can measure it out yourself, that'll be two of the envelopes. Just in case you want to no, without having to measure. And what I'm going to do is just let that yeast um, sit here for a couple minutes and start to activate and then I will show you what we're going to do next. After your yeast has sat in the bowl for a couple minutes, you want to add four and a half cups of all-purpose flour. One large egg, and these are fresh eggs, so I like to crack them separately because you just never know. It's a good idea to crack them separately anyway, but you just especially don't know about fresh eggs. I'm going to add two teaspoons of kosher salt, one tablespoon of sugar. You could add up to four tablespoons if you want to. I don't want mine to be sweet, so I like them to be a little bit more savory. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and add just the one tablespoon of sugar, but you can add up to four. And lastly, you're going to add in one stick of melted butter. You want to have your dough hook attachment on your mixer, and it's a lot easier to do this in a stand mixer. And I'm going to start this out on low speed until it's all combined. Then I'm going to kick it up to medium. And it's going to knead the dough for about 15 minutes. Um, if you need to, like if you feel like it's sticking to the sides of your bowl, you can go ahead and add like a teaspoon of flour at a time just to kind of um, pull it away from the sides. But I'm not sure if I'll have a problem with that. So I'm going to go ahead and start it out on low. And you can see it's starting to come together. Alright, once it gets to here, I'm going to go ahead and kick it up on medium for 15 minutes. So my dough mixed for about 15 minutes. So now I'm going to lightly flour my surface. And I'm going to knead the dough just for a couple of minutes. into a ball and I have a bowl here that I've put some olive oil in you could use whatever kind of oil you want and I'm going to put it in here and I oiled up the sides as well and kind of give it a turn to coat it and I'm going to I already have my oven preheated to 375 degrees what I'm going to do is cover this with some plastic wrap and I'm going to sit it on, just on top of my stove um, and let it rise for about an hour or until it's doubled in size. And then I will show you what to do next. My dough has been rising for one hour and now what I'm going to do is just go ahead and put this out onto a floured surface. And I'm going to um, roll these out, roll this out into balls. 
Um, if you have a kitchen scale, you could um, weigh them so that they'll all be the same size. I do not have one, so I'm just going to kind of eyeball it. You should get, if you're using a pan like this, you should get about 24 rolls, obviously depending on how big you roll them out to be. Um, if you do it in like a 9 by 13, like a baking dish, you may get around 20, obviously still depending on whatever size. And also I have taken a stick of butter and just rubbed it all over my pan um, to butter it. Alright, so now I am going to just go ahead and just start grabbing pieces of the dough, kind of pinch it off, and you want to roll it into balls. And you can probably just go ahead and like pinch them down at the bottom. And then I'm going to lay them on my pan. And I'm going to put a little bit of space between like the rows. I'll put like, you know, maybe half an inch or so between the rows. They can touch from end to end, but in between I'm going to give them a little bit of space. <clears throat> and really and truly, after you've done this a while, you can kind of feel yourself for yourself and see if you think, you know, you can feel and see if they're the same size or whatever. I'm going to sit it back over on my stove for about 30 minutes until they rise again and then we will put them in the oven. I'll show you what they look like after they've risen now. So. Okay, so my rolls have been rising for a half an hour. You can see that they've gotten quite a bit bigger and they're all squished together now. Um, you can brush this with some um, like beat up an egg with water and uh, brush it on there to kind of make it make them a little bit shiny. I'm not going to do that. But what I am going to do is go ahead and bake these at 375 degrees for about 15 to 20 minutes until they're golden brown. And you want to obviously you want to eat them warm um, from the oven with butter. My rolls just came out of the oven. Um, they're still quite hot. And what I'm going to do is take, take my uh, stick of butter and I'm just going to, you know, smear it all over the tops of them. You don't need to do it too much, um, especially if you're cooking these like a day ahead. And also when you get these out of the oven, they should have that hollow sound to them. That's, how, that's one way of knowing they're done besides them being... Uh, golden brown. I'm just going to put a little bit of butter on them for now. So that is my recipe for dinner rolls. Um, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. If you haven't subscribed to my channel already, I would love to have you. Uh, I want to say a special thank you to all of my new subscribers. I've been pretty inactive lately on YouTube and I'm still getting so many subscribers, so many sweet comments from you guys and I really truly appreciate every single one of them. So if you're new here, I, I just want to say welcome and I promise like here soon I'm going to start really trying to whip out the videos, especially with Christmas coming up. Um, you know, that's when I really enjoy making, trying to make new things and sharing things with you guys. Bye.